WWE is just amazing recently, like that's the first thing I have to say. Can't believe I'm saying this, but AJ Styles is our new WWE Champion, the main champion of the WWE, the biggest champion in the wrestling business. Like that's just crazy to think that the face, the former face of DNA, the rival of WWE, He's kind of the face of the company right now, you know, whoever's the champion is kind of the face, blah blah blah. Either way, AJ Styles is our WWE World Champion. You may say that the Universal Championship is the main title, I don't give a shit. WWE World Championship is the main title. So all of you know that pay-per-view starts at 3 a.m. and it's now 5, nearly 6 a.m. Am I tired? Pfft, tired? Me? Yeah. I was really tired anyway today, so it proves that this pay-per-view is just that damn good. I really wanted to go to the bed, but this pay-per-view kept me going, you know. It was just awesome. So many great moments, apart from that one, which we're going to talk about. Like, what the fuck, WWE, seriously? I have to say this. Anyway, we just should start from the first match, right? Like we usually do. At the SmackDown Women's Championship six pack challenge. Before that, we got Daniel Bryan and Shaving Man talking about the first SmackDown pay per view. I freaking love SmackDown. Like, SmackDown to me is much entertaining, much more entertaining than Raw, just to be honest. Either way, SmackDown's Women's Championship six pack challenge. It was pretty good, you know, the eliminations were kinda. Just like I thought, I just expected that Nikki Bella and Carmella would be at the end of it and Carmella would win, but it turned the other way around. Carmella and Becky Lynch were in the end of this and uh, Becky Lynch just won the title. Like, I thought it would be better if she would chase the title, like, I think she would be better at that. But anyway, it's about damn time, you know, so I think it's a great moment. She's, She was the best in that ring of all those women, so I, I'm happy about that. So. Becky Lynch is our new women's champion of SmackDown. Oh, and before that we got a pre-show match between Baron Corbin and Apollo Crews, which was great, man. It was fast-paced and those guys just showcased their talent and it was pretty damn good. And the right guy won, you know, Baron Corbin got a win. Then we got the second chance challenge to advance into a tag team tournament. The winner of this match will go to face uh, Heat Slater and Rhino for the tag team championships. SmackDown tag team championships, new tag team championships, good looking tag team champ. Okay, let's do it. The Heel Usos versus the High Bros. Now the Usos won this match and they advanced to the final, so I thought that they are actually going to win, but we will get to that. Heel, the Usos. I hated the Usos for the past two years, like when they got a push I loved it, but they've been doing the same shit for 3, 4, 2 years, I don't even know, like same, same garbage and it just, like, we just got bored of it, you know, but when they are heel, it's just amazing how much a heel turn can change everything. Uh, they are just that damn entertaining. I love these guys right now. They are awesome. Like, we don't give a shit uh, attitude. You know, Roman Reigns need to be the same. I really enjoyed that. Anyway, the Usos obviously won this match. You know, it was kind of obvious. You know, the high bros are just... I want to see Zack Ryder as a singles guy, to be honest. But anyway, that, that's not the point right now. The second match was the Intercontinental Championship between The Miz versus Dolph. Ziggler. Like all the matches were really good today. Like even the outcomes of except that one that I'm going to talk about. <clears throat> the Miz versus Dolph Ziggler championship match. Great, great match. Even though I was not excited about this match because we've seen that before the brand split like a lot of times. The title changed hands like five times between those two, you know. Uh, but now it's better than ever, man. This was really awesome. Miz did a lot of great things, mocking Daniel Bryan, doing the yes chain, doing his moves, and it was just awesome. Like uh, what I've noticed that younger people actually were cheering for Dol for Dolph, and the older were cheer cheering for the Miz, which is crazy to think about. You know that one promo changed the whole thing about the Miz. I always loved the Miz, but people just hated him, and uh, I proved you wrong. 
I didn't prove shit. Anyway, The Miz won this match, but, but before that, Maurice sprayed something, you know, into Dolph Ziggler's face, so he got blinded, and uh, School Crushing Finale, one, two, three. I kinda expected Miz to go over clean, because, you know, he's kinda good right now, you know, he's doing this whole thing where he's strong, he's making the title look important, but he's a heel, so either way, it's, it was actually good. I enjoyed it, but I also wanted him to win clean. But at the same time, I don't want to see Ziggler getting buried any longer more. So I think it's a fair finish. That That's pretty good. The SmackDown Tag Team Championships Final. Heat Slater and Rhino versus The Usos. Like, I really thought, like, in my predictions video, I've said that, uh, that uh, Heat Slater and Rhino are going to win and I was right but when I watched the paper I thought like they are not going to win the Usos are just that damn good you know right now and they're probably giving them a push but Heat Slater and Rhino actually won and I thought it, it was amazing man uh, it was such an emotional moment you can see tears in Heat Slater's eyes I really, I'm really happy for this guy like this guy was a jobber he wasn't doing anything and he was that close to getting released you know and now he's a freaking tag team champion of SmackDown the first ever uh, you can see him saying thank you to Rhino you know it, it was just unbelievable moment so uh, this paper really really left good vibes you know I, I really enjoyed it so a uh, great finish great match great result love it then the best part of that Bray Wyatt versus Kane I, 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 I'm obviously kidding so Randy Orton was attacked backstage by Bray Wyatt Bray Wyatt got into the ring and there was a count you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if you don't know the math who are you so Bray Wyatt was declared the winner, so then he said that you're going to face another guy and there was like a one minute pause and I'm thinking who is this guy, who is returning to the WWE? I was like is Shelton Benjamin already going to the WWE, all these kind of thoughts, Kurt Angle maybe? Pfft, Kane, what the fuck, seriously Kane, that's not the, that's not the worst part, the match was alright, you know, I was taking a piss during that match making some coffee. I uh, hear it's freaking cold. The worst part of that is that, is that when Randy Orton interfered, she did an RKO, you know, and then Kane did a choke slam, and I thought like, wow, he's going to kick out of both finishers. Bray Wyatt is going to look so freaking strong. He got pinned by Kane. He got pinned by freaking Kane. I can't shout right now because everyone is freaking sleeping, but I'm pissed about that. <laughs> like, what is this? Bray Wyatt lost against Undertaker, Cena, Brian, I guess. I get, like, every big match he ever had. And he lost also against Kane. A guy who is just not interesting anymore, like, to be honest. Like, he was great back in the day, but right now we don't need that. I just don't understand this shit. Either way, let's just move on. Besides that part, I love the pay-per-view. Everything was great, but that sucked. So that that just... Let's move on. The WWE Championship. Dean Ambrose Champion versus AJ Styles. And I thought, like, maybe John Cena is going to return, you know, distract. So AJ Styles won't look weak, but he will lose. Because I really, I really don't didn't believe that TNA face of the TNA would hold the championship, the main championship, because we know what happened to other guys who came from WCW or even came to TNA or came back to WWE like Christian, you know, he was screwed a lot. And I thought like, no, this this is not going to happen, so I'm not really interested in that match. The match was sloppy at the beginning, you know, Dean Ambrose was doing some sloppy things, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, in the middle of the match, it turned out to be pretty damn entertaining. It was really a great match. It just took a while, you know, for both of these guys to get some communication, whatever. And when the bell rang, I was just, wow. First SmackDown pay-per-view, better than two brands combined, you know. It was better than freaking SummerSlam, which was too long, and that was just 
that was sweet, you know, the timing was good, you know, a great paper, we don't get bored of that, we want more, and uh, it's just, it's just damn good. AJ Styles is the champion, like, like, if you would tell me, who do you want to be a WWE champion, like, one guy only and one guy only ever. I would say AJ Styles, I want to see him as the WWE Champion, if you would give me a right to book things, the first thing I would do is make AJ Champion, so my wish came true, I wanted a brand split, I wanted AJ as Champion, wrestling is just damn good for me right now, I'm really enjoying it. So that's uh, my review, I would give this pay per view 8 out of 10, you may say I'm too generous, but that's just that's that was just great apart from that game thing like that m my mind is too um for burying and uh for gain versus white what the so let me know in the comments below what you thought about the pay-per-view the great one peace follow me on twitter right here thank you the great one peace love and it's been a pleasure i'm gonna go to sleep right now